Hey guys, it's Trip with Ift, and today I'm going to introduce a new service live on Ift, Google Chat. Google Chat, previously known as Google Hangouts, is Google's internal business communication tool built right within the Google workspace. Let's check it out. So Google Chat is free to use, so they do have uh, pricing tiers for bigger and bigger teams. And what's really cool about it, it's built right into the Google workspace. Let's say your team's working on a Google Doc together or Google Slides or Google Sheets. In the chat interface, you could pull those files up just by typing into them. And it has Google's AI tool, so you can summarize conversations. You can ask it to think of responses or prompts for different messaging campaigns you're doing in Google Docs or how to analyze Google Sheets more effectively. But what's really cool is it now integrates on Ift. Let me show you some really cool stuff that you can do with Google Chat on Ift. It's one click sign in, so just sign in with your Google account that you want to manage your Google Chat interface with. And here are some different uh, triggers and actions that you can do. So whenever a new message in a space occurs, then do something outside of Google Chat with Ift. A new member in the space occurs, do something outside of Google Chat with Ift. New space added, do something outside. And then down in actions, I think this is where a lot of people are gonna find a lot of value here. So post to a specific space, add a member to a specific space, create a private space, update space descriptions, and update space guidelines. All right, so there are three ways I think you can use Google Chat today to really optimize and automate your business workflow. One is lead generation. Whenever you get a new lead on your Calendly account through a type form, through a Google form, through an acuity scheduling form, post that lead to your sales team or whoever needs to see it in your Google chat. It will create a seamless experience so that your sales team can follow up with that lead and potentially drive more sales for your business. Two is document sharing. So a lot of if users are using Dropbox or Box and they want to share those files with their team members on Google Chat. So whenever you upload files into specific spaces in your Dropbox account or your Box account, share that URL to your team members in Google Chat. Three is social listening. So whenever your brand is mentioned on Twitter, automatically post that to your social media team in Google Chat so they can respond and interact with that user. It will really help build that community with your audience across your social platforms. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos on how you can automate your business and your life with it, please subscribe. And also let me know in the comments how you're using Google Chat. I'd love to see you guys really optimize Google Chat with the rest of our Google Suite tools on it. And again, this is Trip with it, where everything works better together. Thanks, guys.